welcome to the Blanca Project. How's it going? So today I am filming a video on to talk about my my favorites for the month of June. I have a total of eight things here and one thing I'm going to talk about. So yes, I am doing that number nine one more time. Um, as you guys know, I do not like odd numbers. I only like even numbers. So I either try to always do something even. Um, but anyways, I'm just rambling now. Um, so today... Well, before I go into that, what do you guys think about my makeup today? I feel like it looks like I overdid it, like it's too much makeup, but it really is not. I didn't, I didn't even put an actual foundation, I just have a BB cream on, and I think what it is, it's the lipstick. I think it's the bright color that I'm not used to that makes me feel like it's like, bam, in your face, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Anyways, so let's continue. Oh, another thing, I took off my nails. Look, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been having the long, um, like almond shaped acrylic nails for, I've been having them since I started YouTube. So that was like, I started YouTube on May 1st. Um, so that's been two months. Oh, two months now, good job. Uh, but I've had them on literally like three months and um, I just was ready to take them off. I was so tired of them. I was just like, I'm ready for them to be gone. Like, I'm done with them. But now they can breathe. <sighs> Let's get started with this video. So I have, a, like I said, I have a total of eight things. One thing I'm gonna talk about, so a total of nine. So let's get started first with the household items. Now, just so you guys know, all of these are not Dollar Tree or 99 cents only store. Some of them are, but not everything is. So if you're not interested in seeing anything outside of Dollar Tree, 99 cents only, I do apologize, but there is some stuff that's out of that. Um, so I hope you guys stick around to watch the rest of the video. All right, so the first thing is um, latex gloves. I know, how basic, right? And Sorry guys, I had to charge my camera because it was about to die, it was blinking at me. Anyways, as I was saying, yes, latex gloves. Um, so I've actually been experimenting a lot with different gloves from Dollar Tree and 99 cent store and they just kept on ripping on me. I think a lot of it had to do with my nails that were the almond shape so they were a little bit pointy but they just constantly ripped like all the time. So I always had to be buying new gloves and so I finally went to the store again and decided to buy, to invest a little bit more on these. These are $1.49. This is actually my second package that I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't even opened. Um, I have another pair of gloves that I'm actually using and they're just like these, but they're pink. And I've been using them for like a month and a half now. They have not ripped at all. And I love that. I love that they're sturdy and they're inexpensive and they're a name brand you know they're the arm and hammer so they're a good brand so I do love that they did, they did not rip with me at all and um, I'm able to use it more than just a week like the other gloves were yeah so I'm loving these for sure next household item is and if you guys have pets I'm sure you guys can relate to this um, obviously we have lily pad our cat and there is fur on our couch all the time like it's constantly full of fur and um, I was using originally a lint roller and um, I was wasting so much money on the rolling sheets on the little adhesive sheets and it was just crazy because each rolling thing was about four or five dollars and there were so many sheets and I'd use that within a month and then I'd have to buy another one and then another one and then another one it was ridiculous and it just it was just too much Anyway, so then I decided to move on to using latex gloves, getting them wet, and then rolling the fur, and then just taking it off. And that kind of worked for a little bit, but then I was just, I was like, this is too much. Like, it, there has to be a simpler way. So, I went to Target, and I bought this scotch Bright roller, and it's, amazing I do not know how I lived without this before I really don't and I know it sounds so crazy because hello it's a lint roller but it works so good I just all I do it's sticky it's adhesive right here 
And all I do is get this wet, get it a little bit stickier, and then I just roll it on my couch and then go back to the sink, water it, take off all the fur, and then go back. It does take a little bit long, well, it, I think it takes a little bit longer because you're going back and forth, but it just takes all the fur off, and I just love it. And it just makes my couch look so pretty and clean. So this, I am loving. And this, Oh, and it comes with this cover. I've actually never used this before, but it comes with this cover, and I think this is supposed to be to scrape the fur and help you pick up the fur, but I've actually never used it, but um, yeah, it comes with that too. The next things I'm gonna talk about are just pretty much um, makeup related, and I guess girlish related. First thing I wanna talk about is this facial scrub right here. I know it's just a simple facial scrub. Now this scrub, I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I know Dollar Tree has one, and Michael, you actually used this one from Dollar Tree. I didn't know they had one until after I purchased this and used it, so I had to stick with this one. But I know Dollar Tree has one, and it looks just like this. It's a little bit longer, and it's also pink, but it's clear, so you can see right through it. Um, and Michael uses that one. I think I might have done it in a haul a couple of weeks ago. Um, and that works really good as well, but this one I am loving, and this one I know how it works because I obviously use it on my face, but I'm loving it. It's like, it feels soft to the touch, but when you're using it on your face, it feels really good, and you actually feel like it's cleaning your face. I just had deja vu right now. That's so weird. Do you guys ever have deja vu? Yeah, I, ha I get it all the time. And I'm a strong believer that my dreams mean something. I really am. And people think I'm crazy because of that. But I really do think my dreams mean something. And right now, I just got this crazy deja vu. Like, I've done this before. I've obviously filmed other videos. But I feel like I've dreamt this before. Anyways, let's continue talking about the scrub. So yeah, the scrub, I'm loving it. It's definitely a go. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. But Dollar Tree has one just like this. And it works really good. Obviously, only a dollar. And it's great face thing I got, and I'm sure you guys won't be surprised at this, I don't have the actual package anymore, but I have the packages that come inside, is my nose strips. You guys know I love these, and these are so amazing. I think it's so weird to love something that is so disgusting, <laughs> but I love it. It's just, I put it on my nose, I wet my nose first, and then I put it on my nose and leave it on there for like 15 minutes, and then just take it off little by little, and then you look at it, and you see all this crazy junk just come off your face, and it's so amazing. I love it. So they, I, I do own this one, which is just for your nose, but I know they also have other ones that are for your face. I use the one that goes up here on my forehead and down here on my chin, and it's just it just cleans everything. And I've actually never owned these before, and I just started using them just maybe like, I don't know, you guys saw when I started hauling them, maybe like a month ago, and I've been using these every single week, and I am so in love with them. I really am. The next face product I have is actually this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Gel, and this is what it looks like. It's just a clear little tube, and it has um, product on the inside. As you can see, I'm almost, I'm about halfway through, and I've been using this for a while now. Um, and pretty much what it is, is whenever you see a little acne spot come on your face, you just dab this little ointment on it, and you do it a couple times a day, and then it just, it makes it heal faster. And I'm actually really, really loving this. I'm, I don't know how, I don't have really bad acne skin, but I do get little bumps on my face during the week a lot, especially during my time of the month. Um, and I'll just rub this on my face, I rub it all over, I do it maybe... I do it at night time before I go to bed and then in the morning as I'm just like cleaning up around the house, I'll do it like three or four times during that and it just, it makes it go away a little bit faster. Now, I don't know if this is kind of like the placebo effect where I put it on and I think it's working but it's really not, it's just me thinking that it is, but I feel like it's working and I love it. I actually got this at Target and it was only $2 so I am definitely going to repurchase this again because I love it thing I have is actually a lip product and this is a um wow what brand is this holy moly oh this is a L'Oreal 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 I can't pronounce that wow that's like L'Oreal 
Am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. Anyways, it's, um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a color rich balm and it's in the color rose elixir. It's the number 218 and this is what it looks like. It's super cute packaging. On the side, it does say balm right here and then it has, um, the name of the product right below and the number and pretty much what it is it's a pink color this is what it looks like so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna swatch it for you guys here um I know it looks really bright but it really is not and look I'm swatching it and it barely gives you a little bit of color there so this is really perfect for like the days where you really don't want to wear any makeup and you just want to have something on your lips that's going to be moisturizing yet give you a little bit of color this is the perfect product for you I'm definitely loving this especially now that it's summer and you don't want to wear like a full face of makeup this is awesome for that makeup product I have is actually from Dollar Tree and if you guys saw my giveaway um, my giveaway video a couple of weeks ago you guys saw this and this is the profusion color me glow 12 shades eyeshadow and I don't know what color this is in it's these colors right here and I've actually been using this almost every single day during the week and I am totally loving this I love I usually use this color right here this and this is a really matte color as my my whole lid and then I use this color right well actually no I use this all over my lid and then this I use on my lid and then I use this dark brown right here as my crease color and then I go down right here to this champagne color and use that as my highlight bone color. And this is literally like my everyday look. Rose color though is like my favorite. I want to swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. And the color I'm talking about is this one right here. It's kind of just like a pinky, pinky color. And I really, really like that one. It's a little bit brighter so you guys can see. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, yeah, I totally love that. And I'm really into pinks. I love pinks. I love like neutrals, but I don't think they go in my skin tone, but I'm always buying them. And then I'm like, why doesn't it look good on me? Well, Blanca, I don't think it works for your skin tone. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is um, a pair of earrings that I bought from Shop Miss A. And again, if you guys saw that haul, you guys have seen these earrings already. But I, and these are the cute little star earrings. So this is what they look like. They're just a little star. It's all gold in the back and the front has little fake diamonds all over it. And I love these. I've used these like crazy. I swear. I've been using them so much. And I just love it. I don't buy like long dangly or like hoop earrings because I just don't think they look good on me. Um, so these earrings are so pretty. I actually have these right now that are just really small. And they just have a little shine to them. But that's it. But this one... Not only does it give you that shine, but they're a little bit bigger, so you can definitely see them. Plus, they're a star. Isn't that adorable? I think it's super cute. Um, so I definitely love those. And now, my last favorite of the month of June that I want to talk to you guys about is actually uh, just fresh fruit. I've been buying a lot of fresh fruit from 99 cents only store. I've been buying, as you guys can see from my hauls, I've been buying all kinds of fruit from there. I'm buying strawberries. I've been buying salad mix, grapes, nectarines. The other day I bought some potatoes. I bought some veggie mix. I did buy all kinds of stuff and I am so happy I found that because it's definitely a lot more inexpensive and the fruit tastes just the same as I it would have tasted buying it at a different store. The only bad thing I do have to say is that um, people do pick a lot at the fruit and um, so I am totally that girl. I go down on the floor and start moving boxes so I can get one that has not been touched. Um, and people look at me crazy and Michael sometimes is like really long up but I'm like yeah really you know because I'm buying it I want to make sure I get good stuff. Um, so yeah so those were my favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my favorites and I would love to hear what some of your favorites are down below so let me know or let me know if you guys have tried any of the stuff I have here. Um, also, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I don't, I know I don't post a lot, but I've been trying to get a little bit better at that. Um, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to add it on the description box below and also on the screen here. Um, besides that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.